Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today we're going to be discussing uh, PogChamp. If you don't know what PogChamp is, you have been living under a rock once again. It's one of the biggest memes in Twitch culture and in regular culture in general now. This all, the whole PogChamp meme started because of Twitch. If you know, Twitch has a huge meme culture there. You know, with the simps and whatnot. A lot of memes have been made popular because of Twitch. Because Twitch has such a big meme culture. One of these memes is PogChamp. Now, recently, PogChamp has actually been removed by Twitch. Uh, why was it removed by Twitch? Well, the reason why is because the face of PogChamp, yes, the person who originally did PogChamp, uh, he is actually an anti-vaxxer and he was pretty much against uh, a lot of things. He believed coronavirus wasn't real. He pretty much, he was a dumbass, dumbass okay? He believed so much stupid shit, right? Um, so... Pretty much, they didn't want him to be affiliated with Twitch, which is fair, okay? Um, you know, like, I'll use Moist Critical's uh, example. If I had a fucking photo of uh, Jared Fogel as one of my fucking em emotes before he became Pedophile Man, then, yeah, uh, all of a sudden, Pedophile, okay, yeah, remove time. Because if people saw that, they would be very fucking questioning. So, PogChamp was removed by Twitch and is actually planned to be replaced. I'm guessing... I haven't actually really seen much about the re what the replacement's going to be. I'm just going to guess the replacement is going to be a, someone else who is doing the Polk face. Not the original PogChamp face. What do I think of the situation? Well, I see why Twitch did it, but... I don't think it was really necessary of them to do it. It wasn't like... like Lots of people probably don't even know who the fuck the PogChamp guy is. I'd say 95% of the people don't know who the actual guy is. I definitely didn't until this whole thing happened. So, I think that really doesn't matter. And a lot of people aren't going to see PogChamp as... Oh, wait, that's the guy who thinks coronavirus isn't real. No, they're not gonna start fucking hating shit. Honestly, Twitch can actually, like, fucking, you know, they will follow through with anything that is apparently, like, insensitive and whatnot. Uh, I do know recently, um, they actually blocked out the, uh, tag blind playthrough. If you know what they mean by blind playthrough, it means pretty much playing the game for the very first time. It, you're going in blind, you don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, but they removed it because it was derogatory towards people who had pretty m who was pretty much blind, blind people, which is stupid because if you think about it, fucking four chan, right? Four chan can just like concoct a fucking troll and say, "Your your uh, fucking um like logo and your name Twitch is actually very offensive to people who have muscle spasms." Because, you know, they twitch a lot, so... And then they'll probably rebrand all their shit because of that, okay? I know 4chan can get away with lots of things, right? If you remember the whole Call of Duty situation where in Modern Warfare, 4chan got them to room. Also, the BLM uh, shave your head thing, that was another thing, but... Uh, back to the Call of Duty story, they, um... There was an emote, there was the OK hand symbol, and, uh, it, you know, a couple years before, it was said that it was, like, a white supremacy symbol, which it wasn't, but now it is, because the media was all about it, so they actually got them to change their emote, so it was no longer the OK hand symbol, and I thought that was a funny situation, but that's 4chan for you, and they, 4chan can do anything, so, and Twitch will be its bitch, and fucking listen to them and say, oh yeah, that is pretty offensive, so we need to change our logo and shit, because this shit, yeah. you know, it, it's fucking retarded. So, do I necessarily agree with them removing PogChamp? I don't think it's necessary, but it, it, you know, they were doing the right thing. They didn't want to have any affiliation with this fucking anti-vaxxer dumbass head, but 
I don't think it was ne really necessary. Most people probably would have not really actually known about the situation. If they never banned it, I bet most people wouldn't even acknowledge the fact that guy was a fucking anti-vexer. Most people will still know that guy as the Polk Champ guy. So, I don't think it was really necessary, but they have the right to do it. They chose, they decided to do it, and that's where they're going. They really have the choice to do it. It's not like they're censoring him for some other bullshit. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. I might do one on my SMP world, which you can watch at my Twitch thing. We're finally doing our first story arc. Anyways, see you later. Peace.